Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and today we're checking out the, ooh, Ariat Ramblers. Wanna see? Let's get into it. Before we get into the review, I want to mention that this video is also sponsored by Ariat. I worked with Ariat last month on the Plano video and they liked how that went so we are doing another one here today and we are also doing a giveaway. And just so you know, just because this video is sponsored, it won't change my opinions. I have to be honest, it is in my contract. So with that, let's get into it. Let's open up these Ariat Rambler Square Toe Cowboy Boots. Hmm, very, very interesting, distressed look to these boots. Let's get them out, let's get them out. All right, so right out of the box, we can see that this is about as bare bones as it gets for a cowboy boot with all distressed leather. This is their antique gray color, even though it is more of a brownish, like a dark brown. This is supposed to look distressed and old, even though it's not. They also say that it has like a pre-worn look. I would have to disagree with that just because when you wear a boot for a while, you get wrinkles up here on the vamp and this has none. So even though they made this boot look sort of pre-worn, it still looks new to me. Also, again on this boot, we have a cement construction. Just like with the Plano, you can sort of see where they glued this boot because it sort of seeped out along the edges where the vamp meets the outsole on this boot and you can see it all the way around. This has the Duratred outsole, which is supposed to be longer lasting than their Bantamweight outsole, but it does have more weight to it. It is a little bit heavier. In fact, let's get the scale and see what this boot weighs. Alrighty, so let's get this boot on the scale. And it is one pound and about 14 ounces. So yes, it is a few ounces heavier than the Bantamweight outsole. And it is not as well balanced either. The heel is much heavier here on this Rambler than it is on a Bantamweight outsole. On the inside of the shaft, there is no lining at all. It's just the rough side of the leather. It's like that suede sort of rough out feel, more suede. And then on the lining of the vamp, it's cloth. Now this is a very interesting construction with the way that they seamed and sewed it on the outside. This here, when they do this, it's called a butt seam, basically, two pieces of leather butting up against each other and then sewing it right there. So oftentimes you'll see a shaft be made with just two pieces of leather. This is made with four. So they are obviously using some extra pieces of leather that they may have lying around or to specially cut it so that they can get more pieces so that they can make more boots which keeps the price of these boots lower. But it also creates for a different kind of interesting look. You know, it's not the best look ever, but it is a very raw and rugged look, which is sort of the thing that I would guess you'd be going for if you wanted this boot. The square toe is more hog nosy <laughs> than a lot of other square toes coming from Ariat. If we look at the Plano here, and you'll have to excuse me, I've been out in the mud and the dirt, uh, you can see that the square toe tapers down at the edge, at the end here. On the Rambler, the square toe does not. It stays up and gives this more of a hog nose kind of a look. For the insole, oh man, it is in there. I'm kind of afraid to take it out because maybe I won't be able to put it back in right. All right, I got it. It is the ATS insole technology. Definitely not my favorite from Ariat, just because these gel patches in here, I don't like the way that they wobble, float side to side. 
but it is more comfortable and holds up better than many other insoles that I've tried from other companies. I think Ariat is really good at making insoles that one hold up and two are very comfortable. That's the value that you get from Ariat is in their insoles. See if I can put this back in here now. All right, got it, got it. All right, let's try this boot on. Oh, oh definitely a really snug fit. Much different than the Plano. I, I was able to get into the Plano a lot easier than that. And wow, okay. Definitely does not feel pre-worn either. Ugh. All right, we're in. It was tough though. Okay, so again, this boot feels very stiff in the vamp, but not as stiff as the Plano. Uh, not right off the bat. It feels a little bit better. This one, I had more difficulty putting my foot in the boot and now that it's in there, it almost feels too big. Really weird fit on this. But that's just in the width of the boot. The, the insole does feel nice. I have felt the ATS insole before. In fact, I have been rolling with it in my Dan Post Thin Red Lines instead of the soft strike that they have. So it's better insole than what Dan Post is doing. I feel kind of out of place in a boot that doesn't have stitching or at least pretend to have stitching. I respect the fact that it's not trying to be something that it's not, but it's just kind of, it's like, where, how is the boot staying together? It's just with glue, which is not any different from the Plano, but it just throws me off a little bit, you know? Other than that, this boot feels really sturdy. It feels, feels like a work boot. It feels bare bones. It kind of reminds me of my first truck, the truck that I learned to drive on. It was a Dodge Ram. It was standard. It had no CD player, no AC, no four wheel drive, just two wheel drive. Like this thing was bare bones as it gets. I mean, the Dodge Ram definitely looked better than these boots. I could see this as being a really nice first boot for some of you folks out there who are looking to get into cowboy boots just because it's so bare bones. It has a nice price point. I think they float around like $160, but they're always on sale. Like I just saw them over the holidays for like 130 at some places, maybe even cheaper. So this is a inexpensive boot. It's made to be inexpensive, very bare bones. Let's see how it breaks in though. And stick around because you are going to want to know how to win a pair of your own Ariat Ramblers. That's right, we're doing a giveaway and not for these ones. I'm talking about you choose your size and your colors. So stick around. As I do with many new pairs of cowboy boots, I took these Ariat Ramblers into the woods to see how they performed. The Duratread outsole held up well on the rocks, dirt, and leaves. And I actually thought that my foot was a little bit warmer with the Duratread outsole rather than the bantamweight just because there is a lot more rubber there. Still, this boot was very stiff and needed a lot of breaking in. Then I decided to ramble about downtown Boston. These boots are slow to break in. There is a little bit extra space at the widest part of the foot and the instep is a little bit lower which creates some pressure at the top of my foot but I am seeing a little bit of progress as I walk through the city. It's always a good idea to clean and condition brand new cowboy boots to help soften up that leather and make them a little bit easier to break in. Finally, I got the chance to really put these Ariat Ramblers to work while taking out some cinder blocks. All right, so we are giving the Ariat Ramblers a good old work test today. I am at one of my neighbors and I'm gonna take out a bunch of cinder blocks here that they have as a retaining wall. So we're just gonna dig them up and put them to the side and pretty much call it a day after these cinder blocks are out. So let's get into it.
It is warm for January, and I had to say it, didn't I? I said, get the first one out, and the rest should come relatively easy. Well, <laughs> it looks like these ones are all cemented together, so let's see what we could do about that. <laughs> This retaining wall is actually two blocks and it's all cemented together. So there's really nothing that I can do because I don't have a sledgehammer, I'm not set up to actually take out this many blocks that are all cemented together. So we gotta call it for the day, but I still got in a couple of hours of work with these Ramblers and I feel like I know the boot a lot more. It also broke in much more while being worked. So. I got I got respect for that. I mean, I was waiting for this boot to get more broken in and definitely some work took it to that next level. The project was just a little bit bigger than what we thought, so we had to stop. And I was a little disappointed because I wanted to put these to work a little bit more, but I feel like I worked in them enough to really understand what this Ariat Rambler is all about. This boot takes a long time to warm up to. I mean, I opened the box and I saw the glue line without any stitching on the welt and I was like, is this a boot or is it a toy? It wasn't until these boots got used, worn, and dirty that I started to appreciate them a little bit more. I mean, the dirt starts to cover up the glossiness of the glue up here in the front. And since the back didn't get as dirty as the front, you can still see the difference. It looks much more like a boot up front, and I'm sure the back will get that way too. Because this boot has that pre-worn look with the distressed leather, it makes it feel like those scars were not ones that you contributed to. But when you actually use them, they start to actually grow on you because they're that boot that you can just say, F it to. Like, you're not worried about what will happen to them because they can handle the scars and they actually look better with scars. Wearing this boot helps me understand those of you who like Ariats or would like this boot. You're just that F it kind of person most of the time. And I could see how this would become somebody's favorite boot because of that reason. It's just that F it sort of lifestyle. I understand. I understand this boot. I understand it. But just because that's the type of boot this is, doesn't mean that it has to be stiff. There's been plenty of boots that I've tried in this price range that haven't been as stiff as the Rambler is. It just takes a long time to break in. This instep, this part of the vamp here, feels just a little bit lower than what it did on my other Ariat, and the counter is very stiff and comes up just a little bit higher so that makes the opening of this boot just a little bit more narrow so i wear the ten and a half plano square toe cowboy boot and this one but yet this one is so much harder to get into and then once i did get my foot in it takes a little bit but i can manage then there's a little bit extra space in the toe box right in here so it's just a pinch wider than what the other area it is. So this is definitely a different build. Um, it makes sense that it's from a different factory just because the fit is just so different from the Chinese made Ariats. This is a Vietnamese made Ariat. Yes, the leather was stiff and it's hard for me to get my foot in here, but I have no complaints about the insole. The insole felt great. I didn't feel any pain or discomfort on the bottom of my foot. It's just like up here where the boot is still a little tight. It is breaking in, but again, it is a long process. I still don't consider these boots broken in yet. They probably need another three weeks, I would guess. If you get this boot, don't get it when you need a boot because it's really stiff and it needs those evening walks, those little projects. They just need those little bits of breaking in because staying in this boot all day when it's new is not fun. Actually today, 
was probably the best progress because I was out there actually using them in work conditions. It feels like they broke in quite a bit today and are headed in the right direction, but I will be doing another video on that in the future. We're doing a giveaway. Let's get into that now. And of course, I'm not giving away these dirty Ramblers. It's gonna be a new pair of Ramblers in your size. All you have to do to enter to win is three easy things, at least in my opinion. One, subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Two, follow Ariat on Instagram. Three, fill out the form in the description with your email so I can email you if you win. It's January 16th today. You got about two weeks to enter. And then on January 31st, I'm gonna be doing another Boots and Ballads live stream. I'm gonna be playing music, I'm gonna be talking boots, and giving away some Ramblers. So, what are you waiting for? Enter to win your Ariat Ramblers right now, because I'm closing entries on January 30th. Thanks for watching today, and good luck in the giveaway. Let me know what you think of the Ariat Ramblers down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, and a huge thanks to Ariat for sponsoring this video and giveaway. I'll see you next time. Peace. Don't play with the timbre of these Ariat Ramblers. Bare bones and proud about it. It's a difficult break in, but don't start hating. They'll get comfortable, they'll just loud about it. <laughs> My name is Jeremiah Craig. Thank you so much for watching today. Huge thanks to Ariat for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace.